This video will cover precise and fast views. Precise views. These are the standard views that users are accustomed to using. Precise views should be used most of the time. Fast views. These are used in drawings based on large, complicated models and assemblies. These views do not project the edges of models, but insert the view of the actual model into the assembly. Fast views are intended for use with complex assembly drawings, assemblies that contain many instances of the same parts, and drawings with many views of the assembly. If you're unsure about which type to use, you should use precise views. Commonalities between precise and fast views. Both types of views should look very similar to one another, although precise views should look sharper and crisper. Both types of views can be dimensioned and used to create engineering views. The more, fewer option allows the user to turn different options on or off before actually inserting the views into the drawing workspace. This drawing has both fast and precise views. Once the views have been placed on the sheet, they will have different icons associated with them. After the drawing has been saved, it is possible to change an individual view to the other type of view as shown here. View 2 has been changed from precise to fast, while view 4 is changed from fast to precise. Differences between precise and fast views. There are advantages and disadvantages associated with both types of views. Precise views are the standard views that users are accustomed to using. Fast views, as the name indicates, should be faster to initially display and work with than precise views. For example, if it takes 15 seconds to place the views with precise views, it may take 10 seconds to place the same views with fast views. This is why fast views are intended for large assemblies that previously took an extremely long amount of time to work with. So assuming you do have a real need for fast views, what are the limitations? This is an example of a simple model that uses fast views and then the same model using precise views. With fast views, you will first notice that you cannot change line types or layers. You will also notice that the hidden lines are different in fast views compared to precise views. With fast views, the edges may look jagged when compared to precise views. Since fast views show the actual model and not the projection edges, there is some functionality that cannot be done. Shown here in segmented line figure is a simple two-part assembly that demonstrates this behavior. The isometric view shows part A and part B. Since part B is in front of part A, it covers up a portion of the edge. The actual length of the edge is 448 thousandths. But because of part B, the edge appears to be only 240 thousandths. Precise view. When the edge is dimensioned, a Libre will break the line into what the user can see and what the user cannot see. A section of the edge behind part B is not visible, so that section of the line is not shown. When the edge is dimensioned, since the edge is sectioned, the dimension will be for only the visible section of the edge. Blue dimensions will appear under a set of specific circumstances, particularly when a part is initially dimensioned in a precise view and then reprojected as a fast view where that dimension refers to a line or edge that has been broken by another feature or part. Fast view. Since this view uses the actual model, the lines will not be sectioned. What is actually happening is that the edge will not be broken by part B, and when the edge is dimensioned, the entire length will be shown. So what would happen if that view were reprojected as a fast view? Since the view will display the model and the projected edges as with precise, the section line dimension will turn blue. This behavior lets the user know that the edge being dimensioned is different than the original dimensioned edge. When a drawing that contains fast views is open and that view is outdated, if the view is not updated, the view will not be shown. This is because since the view is outdated and the Libre does not store the data for that view, the Libre does not know what to show. If the outdated views are reprojected, the fast views will show correctly. Since the drawing uses the model's geometry to generate the view and does not project the edges, Fast views will not be exported to DWG or DXF file formats. 
If you do not have an adequate video card, you will not be able to utilize fast views. Any video card purchased within the last five years should be able to correctly display these views. However, if you do have an older video card that does not support fast views, verify that you have the proper version of DirectX installed, as well as the latest video card drivers installed. If you still have issues, this option will have to be manually switched from enabled to disabled. If your video card does not work with fast views, upgrading it to a newer model will be inexpensive, usually around $50 to $100. You will gain video performance because of the video display improvements in Alibre, as well as other video intensive programs. Reproject outdated views. The Reproject tool will update the 2D drawing without having to close and reopen the drawing. It will work for parts, sheet metal parts, and assemblies. To use this tool, the drawing will initially need to be saved. And of course, the file that you want to reproject will also need to be saved so the latest changes will be displayed in the drawing. If you have an assembly, and edit a part within the context of that assembly, when the assembly is saved, the 2D drawing will show the updated model and assembly. Once the assembly is saved, in the drawing, select Reproject Views on the ribbon, the Sketch Toolbar, or in the main menu under Tools. You will now see the Reproject dialog box as shown here. When projecting the views, you can choose to show all of the views as fast, precise, or keep them all in the views they are currently in. You can use this process to convert all of the views in a drawing to another type of view. This is often done so fast views can be converted to precise views for use in the final print or for exporting to DWG or DXF files. Reprojecting views. If only particular views need to be converted from fast to precise, right click on the view in question and select Project as Precise. This will not update the view based upon the model, but will simply change the view type. So if the model has been changed, those changes will not be reflected in the view that is being updated. When engineering views are created that generate a new view, such as a detail, section, partial, or auxiliary view, that new view will also be of the same type as the original view. For example, if the front view is precise and a detailed view is created, the new detailed view will also be precise. If the original front view was a fast view, the newly created detailed view will also be a fast view. After this point, the views are independent of one another, so the engineering view can be made precise while the original view is still fast. This video covered precise and fast views. Precise views are the standard views that should be used most of the time. Fast views are used in drawings for use with large, complicated models and assemblies. These views do not project the edges of the models, but insert the view of the actual model into the assembly. Both types of views should look very similar to one another, although precise views should look sharper and crisper.